To the other big story we're following today, a student accused of slapping a teacher at Parkland High School now faces charges. The Forsyth County Sheriff's Office talked about a video showing the incident spreading on social media. We are not sharing that video because it involves someone who is underage. Deputies arrested that student today on charges of assault on a government official and making threats. We have live team coverage. WFMY News 2 Sydney Moore is covering the uptick in violence in schools. But first, Amber Lang joins us live now in Winston-Salem where the sheriff and the DA addressed the attack in the classroom. Amber. Julie Chad, the Forsyth County District Attorney, Sheriff, and Winston-Salem Police Chief all share the same message regarding this assault. It's not going to be tolerated here in Forsyth County, and if anyone puts hands on educators, they will face significant consequences. DA Jim O'Neill stood firm in his and the county's support for teachers after the video circulated of a Parkland High School student hitting a teacher. Sheriff Bobby Kenborough Jr. says he's horrified watching this video. What I witnessed yesterday I still see it planning in my head. And when I sat with the teacher today, I'm amazed that she even showed up for work today. That took a lot. Tell us there will be a hearing board that's going to meet to determine the student's future. The video circulating shows the student slapping a teacher inside a classroom, not once, but twice at Parkland High School. The teacher never reacted. On Monday, Parkland High School's principal Noel Keener released a statement saying the administration was made aware of the video circulating and that the sheriff's office was investigating. Superintendent Trisha McManus says this behavior will not be tolerated and teachers should feel safe when they go to work. She told us today that she would have understood if the teacher tried defending herself. The fact that this employee was put through that traumatic experience um, is, is terrible and the way that anybody would handle that could be different. But again, I would not blame a staff member for defending themselves in the event that a child was going to to harm them. Superintendent McManus told us today that she will be recommending that this offense be increased to a level six, which could mean expulsion for that student involved. As for the teacher, she was back at school today and did not want medical attention yesterday. Live in Forsyth County, Amber Lake, WFMY News 2. Amber, thank you. We have seen instances like this on social media and elsewhere. Assaults like this one are becoming more common in schools. WFMY News 2 Sydney Moore is break here to break down some of the shocking data related to assaults on teachers. Yeah, for teachers, violence is a growing concern each time they walk into the classroom. According to the Department of Public Instruction, there were nearly 1,500 assaults on school personnel in the 2022-2023 school year. Now, that's significantly up from the year before when there were nearly 1,400 assaults. However, it is slightly lower than what was reported before the pandemic in the 2018-2019 school year. It's a common misconception that many of these acts of violence are by older children and teens but over a third of these violent incidents were in elementary schools. It's not just acts against teachers that's an issue. It's an increase of crimes in general. A 2022 APA national survey of nearly 15,000 pre-K through 12th grade teachers, staff, psychologists, social workers and administrators looked at violence in schools. 54% said they had been threatened on the job. When compared to the 2021-2022 school year, we see a growing trend of violence in schools, increasing from over 11,000 to over 13,000 reports of violence in 2022 to 2023. Today, Forsyth County District Attorney called on state legislator for harsher punishments on those who assault teachers. So I, I call to our local legislators. I call to every, actually every legislator across the state we have to protect those that are going into our school system and trying to teach and, and trying to keep control of classrooms because you don't ever want to see a teacher assaulted. The district attorney also wanted to make one thing clear that his office supports and cares about teachers and they take incidents like this very seriously.